Jade did mixed martial arts at school and started boxing for fitness two years ago. Organizers the JAG Foundation use sport and play as a positive catalyst for change. I've watched the celebrity fights for the past few years and I've watched Jonathan Boyton Lee do it, Sivan Gezi, Jack Parrow, uh, Ryan Buerta. So when Bruce the organizer phoned me and asked me if I'd like to be a part of the first female celebrity fight on the continent, I, I just I couldn't resist the urge. Getting her fighting fit has been former Premier League footballer Ryan Buerta. You know, I've, I've trained Jerry for a few years, I've known her for a long time as well. And when you're training just for everyday fitness, it's not the same as training for a fight. So Jay today is a very different fight in a way, taking her from strength to strength. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing her out there and doing her business. I think the toughest day for me so far was when Wade took me to a sparring session. And I got there and it was just guys. I took so many knocks to the face. The good thing was I learned that I can handle a, a decent punch. Uh, and I took it like a champ, but when I got home and I was behind closed doors, I just put that pe bag of uh, peas on my face the entire day. Boxing is very much a mental game, and often the person that is mentally strong and focused is the one that comes out strong. After boxing training, Jade does hot yoga. It helps with physical strength and to protect her muscles and joints from injury. Hot yoga is a form of yoga that is done in a heated room. It is really, really good for flexibility, to break down the lactic acid to build up in the muscles. And I particularly like the hot yoga because you're sweating a lot more, you feel the workout, but at the same time, relaxing and stretching out the muscles. I think I carry a lot of uh, tension and my muscles are very stiff from, from all the sports. So it's so great to come here and just relax. Nicole, game on. Actress Nicole Besick has made her name playing characters in films like Cold Harbor, but this bout was real and personal. Uh, I was bullied for 12 years, and in preparing for this fight, I realized that the wounds that those years of torture have caused haven't truly healed. Because we go through a lot in preparing for this fight, the drama, the smack talk, the naysayers, and what's more is that my opponent hand-selected me. She got a list of, you know, media personalities and names and went with my name and I found I was so surprised when that happened because you know she's been training for years and years and at the time of her challenge I've only been training for two and a half weeks but I'm a firm believer in the age-old saying it's not the size of the dog in the fight but the size of the fight in the dog. <laughs> it helped having a trainer like former boxer Bruce Benjamin. Every celebrity coached by him has won. With Nicole's training we focused on the ultimate level that a, a fighter would go through so plyometrics, conditioning from an eating regime to the technical side of the boxing. We've concentrated in all those areas, giving her the strength, the, the strength and punch power, the conditioning to obviously last three rounds, and then the, the best side of the technical skill to actually execute the win. Fatigue weakens punches, so provincial boxing champion Wade Hammond pushed Jade's fitness. But where was Nicole's edge? What I've got in my corner is a lot of discipline um, and a lot of focus and a lot of brain power. Apparently my coach thinks um, I'm a mastermind in the ring. I've always said boxing is a chess game with bodies and the, her ability to actually find openings and calculate and create space, I think that's her biggest asset and that'll take her to the win. Tips for Jade, I can't give her any tips. We've put in the hard work, uh, but for her opponent, just be smart and be careful. I think my edge would be the fact that I'm not scared to take a punch. I've got zero fear, and I think me being fearless is definitely gonna give me that advantage. What can my opponent expect from me? Um, <laughs> don't wanna give all my secrets away, but um, let's just say you can't hit the target you can't catch. Jade and Nicole's celebrity bout was one of several on the night. As well as the rules being made very clear to all, no one was hiding from the scales. Weighing in is probably the most important thing. Seeing that we're keeping an international standard for all our fighters here, it's a safety mechanism number one and making sure that everybody's coming in on an equal playing field. Jade was here to fight for her belief that you treat others as you'd like to be treated and there's no place for bullying. Nicole is also firmly committed to this cause. 
I'm feeling really calm, a little bit low in the energy and a little bit lightheaded. I've had to drop seven kilograms in five days uh, for weighing this morning. But other than that, very calm. Uh, my preparation has been world class. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But I think the reality is starting to, to set in now. And I, but I've just got to remind myself that I've put in the work. I've been in the ring with bigger and stronger men and women. So I've just got to keep telling myself that and know that I'm going to be fine. But it's going to be a good fight. And at the end of the day, it's all for charity. Round one of three had begun before they knew it and was over just as quickly. Jade was glad she'd learned to take a punch as they were coming thick and fast. She gave her best in return. By round three, legs were tiring and it came down to a technical points decision as to who landed more punches. For Nicole, the victory was emotionally overwhelming a triumph on behalf of those they're both fighting for. The support has been absolutely phenomenal. I'm just so grateful that so many people came out to support us and the cause. We've raised a lot of money tonight and um, that's actually the real winner. Here. The campaign and the initiative is the actual winner. For my opponent, thank you for everything. Thank you for challenging me. I really didn't know that I was capable of doing this and I wouldn't have known if you didn't challenge me. I'm feeling good. I'm ready for round four. <laughs> it was a great fight. I had a lot of fun. It was for a good cause. Nicole was a great opponent. She worked so hard. Um, her punches were nice and easy to take, but she was quick. And I commend her for that. When you're fighting bullying, everyone's a champion.